What's up, YouTube? It's your awesome buddy, Baytown. So for a while now, y'all been asking me to do like a game room game setup. Now, a few of you know that my game room is set up in the garage. So let's get started. So first of all, you can see this is my garage, an unfinished <laughs> garage, but it's my garage. So we're gonna start off here. This is where I let out all my anger. This is, this is, uh, a punching bag with with my light lightweight gloves, my heavyweight gloves, and my wraps for your wrists. Then um, over here we got my old bull riding hats, uh, a gun safe, another gun safe with a few guns in it. Not if I can get it open without tearing it up. Uh, and here we've just got my uh, double barrel shotgun, airsoft rifle, and then my son's BB gun when he gets older. Let's close that back up. All right, so over here, it's like my storage area. Got my Xbox boxes, the original Xbox. It's my computer case, uh, Call of Duty Ghost. I need to uh, put back up because I took it down yesterday. So I was doing a lot of remodeling around here and you're getting a good view of my shirt. A pearl snap. That's that's a uh, resist all by the way. If you know what resist all is. So we have Call of Duty Black Ops 3 with a Call of Duty Black Ops 3 beanie. Then we have a Call of Duty Black Ops 3 shirt. We have an Advanced Warfare shirt with an Advanced Warfare keychain, dog tag, whatever you want to call it. And we have Call of Duty Ghost hoodie with a Call of Duty Ghost hat. And I have not got my Infinite Warfare apparel yet. Uh, I'm actually late on that, but that's whatever. Okay, let's take a look at that. So. That's actually a shower curtain, but um, it looks good on the floor. Now, this is my couch. I got it for free. Um, some people had it sitting out in the front of their, their yard, and they're like, we're throwing this away. I was like, what? Why? You know? Uh, it came with those pillows, so, yeah, don't don't go judging me. Uh, let's, let's look at the wall a little bit. So, we've got, we've got camo curtains, a guitar. Chrysler 300 grill with my shotgun case on there. Now the Chrysler 300 grill actually came from a job that I worked on, uh, paint and body. And then we've got our Texas Crown Royals Club whiskey holder, um, real tree bottles of uh, energy drink. Got my uh, my guitar there. That's a hat my cousin gave me a long time ago. That's an older hat I bought a long, long time ago. Then we've got Call of Duty MW3. Then we have Call of Duty Black Ops 2. I have a Black Ops 3 poster, but I have not put it up yet. So up there, I don't know if you can tell, but that's all, some, well, some of the monsters that I've collected. And by the way, that's my big sombrero. Um, back here, We've got monsters, and then look at this. We've got Call of Duty Ghost monsters. We have Battlefield 1 monsters. We're waiting on Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, but hasn't uh, that they haven't released a monster yet. So here's um, my Power A controller, and then. Um, my headset for the Astros, uh, that's the box for that. That's Febreze, which I spray on my couch religiously. That stuff's good, I'm telling you. All right, on, moving on. Call of Duty Black Ops. The old Black Ops for the zombies. Then uh, over here, we got a picture that my cousin drew for me in, in prison. And then um, that right there is a local radio station then the Call of Duty Black Ops 2 
season pass. Every man cave should have this. Let your man cave run wild, and trust me, my man cave has went wild quite a few times. I just cleaned it up. We got Bud Light stickers here, though I don't drink anymore. And we got some uh, Hooter magazines. So, then up there, of course, we gotta have the cowboy placard. And here it is. Um, so I've just got just a basic chair. Uh, it matches my couch, believe it or not. Um, I got it at a garage sale for like five bucks. These all slide. To, I mean, it, it's pretty fully functional. Uh, it's the monitor I play on, my headset, my new controller included with the Control Freak Sniper, whatever, analog sticks. And then this is where I keep my Xbox One. No scope gaming glasses. This right here is a Motorola Aris Gateway Gaming. Gaming whatever. I don't remember the name of it. Anyways, yeah, that's where my internet comes in. That's my, my lamp. This right here is my PC, my laptop where I do all my editing. And we're gonna go ahead and get into the good stuff here. Uh, that's where I keep all my wires, my Elgato controllers, stuff like that. And this is what we have down here. Let's see. So we've got we've got Call of Duty Black Ops, Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare, Skyrim, Gears of War 4, Black Ops 3. Call of Duty World at War, Call of Duty Ghost for the Xbox One, Advanced Warfare for the Xbox One, Battlefield 4, what? That's not mine. And I'm not lying, don't judge me, that's not mine. <laughs> yes it is. <laughs> Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, uh, look at that. Journey. For those of you that don't know who Journey is, it's a it's a it's a rock band. Ask your parents; they'll know. Oh wow! What we got here? Uh, Battlefield Hardline. Trash. Gears of War. Trash. Ultimate Edition. Trash. I need to give that away. Ah, Ghost Recon Trilogy. Ghost Recon Future Soldier. Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter and Ghost Recon Advanced. Warfighter twice, okay. What else we got here? Enemy front. No, not enemy front. I'm sorry. Home front. I think I took enemy front back. Sniper Elite 3. Shush. Sniper Elite V2. Awesome game. Love it. <sighs> Sniper Ghost Warrior 2. That's probably one of my favorites. Sniper Ghost Warrior, of course. Anything else but war games? Nope, all war games. Call of Duty, Advanced Warfare, Day Zero Edition. What is that? Call of Duty Ghost. Again? <laughs> yeah. Call of Duty MW3. Ah. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Uh oh, look at this. We've got. Xbox 360 Special Edition Call of Duty 2. And then we've got Call of Duty 3. Oh, that's trying to fall over here on me. Hold on. Yeah. We're gonna put these down here. What? Why don't y'all stay straight? All right, then we've got uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Oh, we should have a yard sale. There we go. Homefront the Revolution. Pretty good game. Love this right here. Call of Duty Finest Hour for the Xbox. So, yeah. 
So uh, I've got that, and then we've got another Skyrim game here. So those are just some of my games. The other ones, I don't know where they're at. But that's pretty much it. I'm going to go ahead and get into a gameplay for y'all that I was in the other night. It's a hardcore domination game where I end up being all alone and slapping the lobby all by myself. Um, I got more kills alone than they did all together. And um, there wasn't much I could do as far as like capturing flags because it's just me against five people. So as soon as I went to cap one flag, they jumped that flag and, you know, and kill me or whatever. So I just ended up going for kills and we're going to go ahead and get into that now. All right, so here's the domination game. We're going to go ahead and get into it. So I didn't actually realize that I was all alone. Not at first, anyways. But as I started noticing that, hey, I'm the only person in here. I need to go ahead and switch weapons. And you'll actually see that here in a bit. I'll actually switch weapons and start using something else. I think it's called the Type 2. Because right now I'm using an SMG because I was trying to get my attachment unlocks for it. Because that's what I do to level up. I'm not one to really reg gun. It's not my favorite thing to do. I feel at home sniping. Rather I have a good game or a bad game, it doesn't matter to me. I just enjoy sniping. Now, at the end of the game, I, you know, I, I did let them know, hey, you know, y'all should honestly be ashamed of yourselves because they could have at least let me keep one flag. You know what I'm saying? But no, they wanted to try to dominate one person all by themselves. You know, why do that? So I had to end up taking a flag on my own and then, and you know, just taking them out on my own as they came around. I had to get smart, get wise, and realize, look, no one else is here. It's just me. Look at this guy trying to camp out one person. Really? I'm one guy. So pretty much what he was doing is he's camping down there, and as soon as he heard that I was capping A, he was going to run up and kill me. Well, they both just got done up. And that's not even the uh, icing that tops the cake. I kill all five of them at one time, eventually in this game. And yes, it was with the top two, and one of them did send me a message telling me that, oh, it's just one of you and five of us, and you're using an OP weapon, the Type 2. To me, those are just excuses. It doesn't matter that it was just me in the lobby. It doesn't matter what weapon I was using. They could have easily been like, you know, it's whatever. It happened. So what? So we're going to go ahead and get into the second round. That's where I turned my mic on right there. <laughs> Half time. Because sometimes I do get angry. You know, I mean, I'm not going to lie. Secure all objectives. I don't get to the point to where I'm going to cuss someone out or anything like that. But there are times where I'm like, you know what? What's wrong with these people? Why is it that you see one one individual here all alone? And you know that. You know that I'm all by myself. But yet, you're going to try to cap all three flags? I mean, I don't know. I'm just that type of person. If I was playing the game... And I noticed that this guy was all alone and he had one flag 
Just let him have that flag and just, you know, kill him there. You know, whatever. It, it, there's no reason to try to dominate one person. But I kind of see people's mindset. They're like, oh, you know, we just slapped this one guy. That's, I mean, that's how the COD community sees it. You know? And that's... And then they got a C4 on the flag. <laughs> Ridiculous, man. All for one person. But it's cool. It's whatever. It, it was just a game. I had fun. I enjoyed slapping them around. Normally, I'd be running an SMG, but I decided to go ahead and run this Type 2. And it turned out to be a fairly good weapon. And the reason I switched is the SMG that I was using, for some reason, is getting a lot of hit markers. I don't know why, but it was it was getting a lot of hit markers. Now, during this game, I'm, I am trying to play fairly cautious because I know... One that it's 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 one v five for one. On top of that, they're also camping, waiting for me to, to cap one of those flags so they can come in and take me out. So what I decide to do, and I think I do it right here, I go to cap this flag. I think it's right here. I back out. So I stop capping that flag. I pick up two kills. Three kills. So we're on three kills now. And we're capping this flag here. We got a UAV. We're going to use that to our advantage. I get taken out. Now they're all going to be right there on that A flag. Which is going to be good for me. So we come in there. We just start smoking them. Picking them off one by one. And I'm like, I know there's one more guy around here. He's got to be one more guy. Bam, there he is, son. Get slapped. Thought you were slick. You wasn't slick. <laughs> so that's the end of the game. I hope you all enjoy. That's a 1v5 hardcore domination. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. If you've been subscribed, thanks for the support. Baytown Cowboy 85, over and out.